Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to another team preview week 9 against our opponent this time in actually like quarterfinals to be honest uh, Cicerosum or, or Somerset Sissos that is so hard to say <laughs> anyway you might be noticing that it's a lot shorter video this time and uh, yes it is and it's actually because I'm using the same team as I did week 4 against him basically I have a few shifts but if you want to see that team preview it's going to be linked down below in this video i'm just going to talk about my initial thoughts you know the, the few changes i made which are not a whole lot and um, basically what i hope to accomplish this game because that is what it's all going to boil down to is will he bring the right team this time yeah i said that but i mean it uh, i mean it really and um, if you guys doesn't know his team is Let's see, we got Clefable, Garchomp, Crobat, Slowking, Registeel, Rotomore, Greninja, Skunk Tank, Licky Licky, and Mega Gallade. So, due to that, like Garchomp is still a thing. Uh, he didn't bring it last time, he didn't, I don't think he even brought Crobat. Um, so, those two are mons I do want to see him bring in. Um, it's helpful. Uh, in a way that I know that they can do massive amount of damage to my team. Now, the, the reason I say it like that is because it makes my planning that I had previously for him a, a lot easier. <laughs> and of course, Ellis and Rob have been helping me with this team. And we did through back and forth, like, can we use Volcarona? Is Alkazem even relevant? Can we use Drapion? And Drapion, no, you can't be used due to the best uh, thing that Drapion does is, of course, destroying him with toxic spikes but he has two immunities to it and skunk tank take away of course the toxic spikes so it's kind of hard to use and it isn't fast enough to deal with the mods that it wants to deal with of course be the guard chomp mega Gallade, we actually heard him a whole lot back so drapion is out mega dng is out due to it doesn't have the power to break through like registeel stop it dead on track slow king can survive it clefable can survive it to some extent and of course, Lick Licky can actually eat a hit. And I have to risk the speed tier with Mega Gallade, which I don't feel is worth it due to, like I said, the other previous mention is that it's kind of struggles here, and Crobat can have Steel Wing. All those things can happen. Uh, Alakazam is not used because Pursuit. He has two Pursuit Trappers, so it's kind of bad. It's um, It could really struggle, and uh, I could lose the initial speed tier with Greninja, which is something that... Uh, just don't want to do that, then Crobat doesn't, or like I said, really, really aren't that good. I can only hope to force Crobat to be Jolly instead of Adamant due to having it on my roster. But using itself is definitely um, a struggle. And then we have Volcarona, which initially is not that bad. It actually does fairly well against this team. <sighs> the issue is though, and that's something I really need to watch out for, and the reason I'm not bringing it in the end. He has Registeel, the Registeel will set up rocks. Like, that. that's it. Um, <clears throat> next thing is that follows are that uh, a lot of his mod can actually hurt me really, really badly. Um, I need to set up a Quiver Dance to even be able to deal with, for example, Crobat, which I can't Oko from that range anyway. That's bad. <laughs> and Lick Lick can survive a hit and retaliate. And of course, if the Garchomp is Scarfed, then obviously my, my Quiver Dance won't help. Because because of its speed tier, it just it doesn't hold up to the initial team I had. So right, so to the team itself that I'm bringing, like I said, it's the same team. It's Thunders, it's Landers, it's Gengar, it's Empoleon, Cabalion, and Shaman. Shaman is still there for Clefable, it's there for the Bridge Steel, and it's there for Rotom, and it's there for, of course, the Mega Gallade, which is a really big threat to my team, and it's defensive. And Shaman is the only one who has a slight change. It actually has, I do believe, 12 EVs more in special defense and less in defense because we actually survived that onslaught anyway from a potentially small Sasmere Glade. Now, I don't believe that um, the previous situation with Shaman is going to pay off this time. Uh, I need to treat uh, Glade differently and... Uh, yeah, that is what it's all going to boil down to. Can I, can I deal with Sasmere Glade um, without using Thunderous? And the answer is probably not. <laughs> and Cabalion, of course, being 
um, less speed or make late is also is a thing. But Cabellian and Absurd that deals really well with his team. Uh, nothing in his team really want to take the our head combination with uh, close combat. The things that does that are Sloking basically. That's why we have the Exists on it, which you see in team preview. Nothing changed. Sword stance, if I can pull that off. Uh, Shukaberry is for guard jump if he uses that. Because I can set up a ST on a guard jump and then um, take the hit and retail with the close combat. It's something I'm not going to aim for, but it's good to actually scout for his Vigil Scarf set or not. Uh, if it isn't a Scarf set, then Kobalion actually outspeeds it. That's also something I can use in mind. Empoleon not having Shukaberry this time. Uh, it can survive an earthquake from Garchomp if it isn't the SD set, of course. But uh, I think Empoleon's main role here is actually to survive Greninja because it did such a huge number on me, and I think the uh, Leftover's recovery will be super helpful here. Gengar, um, Shadow Ball slash Bomb Ice Wind um, is gonna deal with everything properly, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I bar Mega Glade, so if he has to Mega Evolve on Gengar. Then I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball. I mean, that's about it. Uh, Double Dance Lando, uh, Sword Dance, and Rocky Polish. Rocky Polish. And I knew previously that uh, I got the statement that it's kind of bad to have a setup mana against Clefable. The thing is, Clefable can't really deal with Landers. Um, it could retaliate with Ice Beam, yes. But that's about it. It's still a 2 hit KO, depending on its set, but it's always a 90% guaranteed 2 hit KO with the setting mana I have. So, if he decides to respond with Megale or with Clefable, I'm not so sure he'll survive that. I, I'm not. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I know Gengar is in an area of pursuit trapping. I know that. Uh, you know, skunk tag and all. But the uh, bit The bit be. It sh still should do fairly well. Um, I trust Gengar. And I have some defensive investment to actually survive. A full HP pursuit, but <clears throat> as you guys know, I'm I'm never intend to switch out on a potential pursuit trapper. I won't do that. Uh, Thunders, I do believe Thunderbolt, uh, Hidden Power, Ice, uh, Nasty Plot, and Thunder Wave, because it just works. Uh, it hits everything in his team. Registeel can survive a hit, yes, but I can actually set up against it. It's not a whole lot Registeel can do. Uh, and we have Leftovers there to actually have some more. Um, longevity and stamina to Thunderous. Uh, so yeah, that's the team. Uh, that was a quick preview, <laughs> anyway, but uh, not like complex as the previous one. Uh, so now my initial thought to this game, you know, what's gonna happen? Well, I'm not gonna lose Thunderous turn two. Uh, the thing is here, and the reason I'm bringing the same team is because Cicero Sausage actually struggled with this team while he did screw up. Like I can't say that enough. He did screw up, he, he had a better place to make, um, but he didn't do them, so I feel that he's gonna, you know, get if, gets his sanity a bit more back here and actually feel, you know, do the better place and actually be more structured, since this game actually matters. Um, so I'm pretty sure that he will try everything in his power to do this game better, but um, outside of that, I have to do the same, I mean, I didn't really do as well as I was hoping for against him the first time, now I do win that game 4-0, but it is because, like I said, he kind of screws up. Um, I can't leave that to chance again, so Thunders must be at all costs preserved. Uh, while Lander sweeps his team, like, whatever he decides to bring, Lando will be there. If I pull off a rock polish with my Lander, that's GG, basically. Um, as long as his Megalade is, uh, is around, I need to rock polish with Lando. And of course, Slow King could potentially hurt him with Ice Beam. I still have the Osha Berry. Uh, so he might as well go for a Surf this time. That's something I'm fearing, to be honest, but that's something I have to deal with when the situation calls for it. And you know, Garsham could have Surfed too. You know, like that's a thing. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Preserve Thunders, Thunders outspeed his whole team outside of Greninja. If he uses Greninja, I can still switch out to either my Cabellion or Empoleon to preserve it a bit better. I don't necessarily need to T-Wave Greninja from the start. I don't want to do that because I risk of losing my Thunders in that process. Uh, but if, like I said, if the situation calls for it, then I have to do it. But, you know, the base speed of 111, yeah, that's a big deal because that just sets it apart from other Pokemon, really. But, yeah, I mean, 
that's about it. Like, I have nothing more planned out. I really gotta play this game much like I did before. But be more preservative, not playing as aggressively because it didn't pay off against this Rosen because he basically responded properly in the beginning. So, I have to respond a bit better. Probably a lot better, actually. Uh, I, my potential leads here has actually been depending on its sets, of course, but if I don't see um, Garchomp, then I'm going to lead with Cavalion. That's pretty much it. That's my initial thought. If I see Garchomp, I'm probably gonna lead with um, Gengar or Thunders. Um, Greninja is always a good lead, so that's kind of the reason why I don't want to bring either of them. I mean, Cavalion deals well with his Greninja, that's why I'm gonna want to lead with my uh, sort of with Cobalion. But you know, if it leads with Garchomp, then I'm in a picky. I'll always be in a picky. But <laughs> that's those situations that can transpire. But yeah, I mean, I shouldn't really throw up too many things. This will go up on Saturday. I'm recording this on a Friday. We were supposed to battle yesterday, but uh, he didn't respond at all. Uh, he did say, though, a few days before he won a battle on Saturday. So. It's going up the same day we actually have this battle. So when this video comes out, the same day we had the battle. Um, yeah. <laughs> I really hope it goes well. Like I said, I really am glad I'm in playoff. I mean, that's where the point of this anyway, right? So I hope I win, but if I don't, you know, that's actually fine. Um, but yeah, we'll have to find out. I'm really excited. Um, and um, yeah, I hope it goes well. So anyway guys, I want to thank you for watching, and uh, you will see the game tomorrow. Until then guys, take care. Bye.